next topic that we are going to cover is the anatomy of the chicken. This is just the tissues and the organs of the bird. In the outer side of the bird, we have the beak, which everybody knows. We have the nostrils. We have the trachea system. We have the esophagus. The bird also has eyes, like you have. And the bird has a brain. So don't think that the brain, the bird does not think it has a small brain. So the, the eyes, the nostril, the brain, we can call that the cerebral system. Just like our organ, the, the, the organ that make our sensory system. The bird has lungs. It has a crop. It has another organ that a bird has two organs that are not available in other animals. It has the crop and has another organ that we call the proventriculars. These two organs are only found in a bird. Uh, when I talk about the digestion system of the bird, I will tell you what function these two play. We have the gallbladder. Everybody knows the gallbladder. The bird has a spleen. It has a liver. And the bird has a one part that everybody loves called the gizzard. And the gizzard, everybody should note that it is the true stomach of the bird. The bird has other organs, the cloaca. It has ovaries whereby in the females and has testes in the male. It also has a kidney like everybody else has. It has the oviduct. It has the large and small intestine. The bird also has the duodenum. And finally, the bird has the pancreas and also has the cloaca and now the anus. The bird also has legs. So that's basically the anatomy of the bird. So you know what organs are available in the bird and what organs are not available in the bird. I think all the organs that us human beings have, the bird has and has an addition of the crop and the proventriculars.